says an atom can be formed when a negative muon is captured by a proton. The muon has the same charge as the electron and has a mass that's 200 times larger. Calculate the frequency uh, of the photon. And um, this statement uh, may sound a little bit odd. Um, it's uh, designed to allow you to answer this question more simply than you otherwise could if you were um, if we were uh, doing it hundred percent correctly. So it says you know hint says review the derivation of the the energy level Bohr energy level. So let's let's take a look. Maybe there's something there that will give us a hint on how to make this change. And this kind of thing is quite um, more common in upper division level where. You have a kind of a derivation that gives you a paradigm and um, you try to apply to a, a different circumstance with a little bit of a change. So uh, you are, so, you know, going through this uh, imaginary derivation. So, um, so looking at the Bohr's assumption that says uh, momentum is quantized. Well, none of these have electron uh, mass factored into it so when you replace electron with a heavier version of it probably doesn't matter so let's keep going uh, i see electron mass factoring in there okay uh, let's keep scrolling through yeah and that mass keeps coming in and but as you read through this derivation i hope you see that um whatever the value of this m is it doesn't affect the derivation steps it's not as though the steps you go through will depend on the value of electron mass so you just keep going keep going and uh, where it talks about electron energies um, all these expressions for energy that contain a factor for electron mass all these expressions would be valid all these expressions all the way up to here is valid um, so really all you really need to do is, is and you know double checking is good uh, to kind of make sure that in none of the steps the none of the steps depended on the actual value of the electron mass but once you have made that confirmation then you are uh, at the end, you have this result. This baseline energy is um, the mass of the orbiting particle times the E, I think that's the elementary charge, to the fourth power divided by A times the permittivity of free space squared times Planck's constant squared. And let, let's just make sure I have copied this down correctly by plugging in numbers in all from alpha. So let's say electron mass times the element elementary charge to the fourth power divided by eight times um, uh, permittivity of free space or the electric constant, electric constant squared times Planck's constant squared. Uh, let's see if it gives me something in units of energy. Um, looks like it understood me fine. And uh, yeah, 13.6 electron volt. That's what I wanted. So I copied this down correctly. So to get the baseline energy for a uh, muonic atom that has uh, electron replaced with the muon, well, um, all you have to do is replace electron mass with the muon mass or you know multiply by 207 for the mass then all these expressions all these are valid and the only thing that changes is that baseline energy e naught what used to be 13.6 av is now this uh, kind of crazy large number 2813 ev Pretty large. I, I guess that's 200 times, uh, 207 times what it was before, uh, because in this expression, it's proportional to the mass. So uh, you 
do all your calculation based on that. So this uh, transition from n equals 2 state to n equals 1 state, the delta E naught there is, well, um, that's going to be uh, delta E naught, sorry. Um, delta E change in energy as uh, muon goes through that transition will be, well, um, the energy at level 2 uh, minus energy at level 1 or um, minus E naught, that number, divided by 2 squared minus and minus that E naught number up there divide by 1 squared and I think this number is larger and it will all work out. Let me plug in the numbers see what I get. So I have uh, minus uh, 2813 electron volt divided by 2 squared or 4 minus minus uh, 2813 divided by 1 squared and I get a positive quantity that's, uh, let me just multiply this with uh, uh, decimal so that it does the decimal approximation. Okay, 2109.75 electron volts. So that's the energy. Now, the question doesn't actually ask me for the energy. It asks me for, um, for the frequency. So for that portion, it hasn't changed. The Photon energy is related to its frequency through that relationship that Einstein guessed, Planck's constant times frequency. So frequency is the photon energy up the above divided by Planck's constant. I think I still have Planck's constant programmed in. So yeah, so the number above divided by uh, Planck's constant. So because uh, this uh, energy is in electron volt units, and my Planck's constant is in electron volt units, EVs will cancel out, I'll have second, or, or one over second as the overall unit, which matches to Hertz. So I have, yeah, that's a super high number, so let's <laughs> enter it in scientific notation. 1.10 times 10 to the power of 17. Um, wait, one, um, 5.10. 5.10 times 10 to the power of 17 hertz. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's a, a number sense question um, and kind of uh, practice set uh, reusing previous derivations, kind of uh, uh, glancing through the algebra and making sure that all the steps still apply so that we can just use the final, um, we can just use the final expression here just with the appropriate value of mass. So.